morning, everyone. Thanks for stopping in. This is Eddie with Four Boys Little Homestead. Today's project, I'm going to be completing a project that I started this summer. It's a temperature controlled cold frame slash mini greenhouse. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so what we got here we're going to be working with. This summer, I started this project and never finished it. This is a mobile cold frame slash mini greenhouse. I built this out of some scrap metal, some tin, and I put a wheel on each end. So I can just easily move it around where I want it. And how this is going to work, I'm going to make this a heated, temperature controlled. It's already on the lid. The lid opens all the way up. So you can get in there when you put in your seedlings or your little plants or whatever you want to put in it. It's five foot long, 34 inches wide, two foot tall on the back. And this lid has an extra lift on it here. With a, that is a greenhouse vent window. Hinge. Temperature controlled. So when the lid's shut, as the temperature rises, once it gets to approximately 70 degrees, it starts lifting the lid open, and the hotter it gets, it'll open all the way. Not all the way back like it is right there, but it'll open all the way up to about half, halfway where it's open be working here with I'm going to take that old extension cord them two porcelain lamp holders and I got two ceramic heat lamps and I have a heat thermostat so we're going to install that so when it Temperature control, when it gets, starts getting cold, below a certain temperature, these ceramic heat lamps will come on. And then during the daytime, when the sun's out and it starts getting too hot, your greenhouse vent window hinge here will raise it up so it won't get so hot in there. So let's get set up and get started on installing this. Okay guys, what I'm about to do here, I'm gonna cut two pieces of this board, approximately eight inches long. Wire my wiring to these porcelain lamp holders. Attach them to them two pieces of board. Then after I do that, then I have to attach the thermostat control to my wiring. The reason I'm putting them on this board is I don't want to permanently put them inside my cold frame yet until I actually use it and see if, where they need to be. Cause one may need to be in one corner and other in the opposite corner on the other end and the temperature control kind of in the middle or either on the opposite side. So to start out with, I'm gonna just have this mounted on the boards. Temperature control dial in the middle and then I have a plug I put a hole through it for the plug where I can plug in my electric, electrical cord so that's what I'm going to be doing at this time and I'm going to cut these 
eight inches. Now before I fasten that lamp holder to that board, and I have to hook my wire up to it. First I gotta get a drill, drill a hole through this board to stick the wire through, hook the lamp holder to that way to fasten to it. I'm gonna just drill a half inch hole. I got to strip this wire back and attach it I've never seen one of these before set up like what I'm trying to do here. Now I've seen cold frames and I've seen the greenhouse hinges that works on temperature. And I've seen people use them in different scenarios and situations. Well, I ain't never seen nobody actually do what I'm trying to do here, but we're going to see if this works. Our first test is going to be is to set it, and I'm going to put a thermometer in it, get the temperature reading before dark, and then I'll come back out in the middle of the night, and we'll look at it and see what the temperature is, and if the door is opening. I don't want it to get hot enough for the door to open. So, I, so with this, I'm gonna have to play to learn where the temperature control is on here and how much heat these ceramic heat lamps put out. Now these are ceramic. They call ceramic heat lamps, but they don't put out no light. They just put out heat. I didn't want to use the heat lights because it would be putting lights on your plants. You would have your sunlight during the day, then your lights would come on when it got cold and they'd be getting too much light, too many hours of light. So. I need this about five foot long but I'm gonna need a pair of wire pliers to cut that with. Now on this other porcelain lamp holder, I'm gonna have to run both wires in there to hook to it. Cause I'm gonna have one wire going and going to the temperature control knob that plugs into your electrical feed. So it's gotta go to you through your temperature control knob first so it can control the temperature when to turn it on and off. And then it'll put power to both of your heat lamps.
I'm just using wood screws, decking screws, passing these lamp holders to this board. Now guys, I got my Y assembled to my lamp holders. So my next step is to splice in my heat thermostat. Said I'm trying to get the heat thermostat to where it'll be middle ways of the box, not close to neither one of the of the heat lamps. And I know when you're putting your seedlings in there. You're gonna have to adjust your seedling trays to where they the same distance from each heat lamp. That's why I didn't want to put these in permanent. In some situations, you you may not even need both heat lamps. You can just take one heat lamp, just unscrew the heat lamp itself. That way you can set your seedlings down at one end. According to what seedlings you're starting, what temperature they need, and what the temperature is outside. One heat lamp may be good enough. Now what I'm going to do now, I got another board, which was the piece that come off of them two that I cut. I'm going to drill a hole through them. That way I can mount the thermostat control to a board also. This is called a single wire thermostat, which means you only have to splice into your hot wire. You don't have to splice into your hot wire and your ground wire.
Okay, now I have my wire attached to my lamp holders and spliced into my temperature control. Now I gotta drill a hole through the side of the coal frame to where the wire can come out and wire my electrical plug on to where I'll be able to plug it into electricity. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna fasten my temperature controller right here in the front center because I know that the temperature controller is gonna need to be in the center. But I'm gonna install it permanently. It can screw right straight on to this tube for. This is where my plug will be sticking out that I can plug into electrical. You can use an electrical extension cord to plug it up. The next step is I have to wire the electrical plug onto the end of this cord. All right, guys, the plug's installed. Next up, all I have to do is screw these heat lamps in. These are 100 watt, just black heat lamps. They ain't supposed to make no light. And they may not be big enough. I may have to move up to a 200 watt. But I thought I would try these first.
Hi guys. That's completed of the wiring. I'm gonna remove this around and get it set up and plugged in with our thermometer and stuff. That way we can see what happens as the temperature drops tonight. So stay with me. Okay guys, so our temperature controlled cold frame flash mini greenhouse for our seedlings is plugged up with electricity. Those are heat lamps is in there. And the temperature, if I can get focused on this for y'all, is 53 degrees. That's the temperature it is outside right here where I live. And how the dial works, the dial you can turn. Right now I'm gonna turn it on wide open. And these, these lamps are hot. So we're gonna shut this lid. And I'm gonna come back after a while or maybe after dark and we're gonna check the temperature in there. And I'm gonna check the temperature tonight. And I'm gonna check it at daylight in the morning while it's down to about 30 degrees or below and see what the temperature is in here. Okay, so it's been approximately 45 minutes. So I'm gonna come out here and we're gonna raise this up. I know the can't see through that. I'm gonna raise it up. And we're already to 67 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is turn this dial. Until I hear it click. And then see if it keeps it at this degrees. Right there, it just clicked. I'm gonna see if it keeps it at this degrees tonight. So we'll check back in tonight and see how it's doing again. Okay guys, it's 10.30 p.m. As you can see, it's 29 degrees outside. So we're gonna check that the thermometer inside the cold frame now. I don't know if you can read that, I'm gonna open it up, but it said it's 55 degrees. So I'm thinking that's pretty. It's doing a pretty good job because 55 degrees and it's already below freezing. Ain't bad. Like I said, once it starts below freezing, I figured I was going to have to. There y'all can see it. 55 degrees in here. But I figured once, once it dropped below freezing, I figured I was going to have to put a cover it with a tarp. And that's the next thing that you can do is cover it with the tarp because the, the lid don't perfectly seal all the way around because it has to open with the greenhouse hinge so it ain't going to close tight enough to seal. But anyway, we'll check back in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's approximately 6.30 a.m. the next morning. So now we're going to check on our cold frame to see how it done through the night. Let's go over here and check this temperature. Can't see if I zoomed in there. Now that's showing it's down to like, what? That's showing 22 degrees, but it ain't that cold here, y'all. 
it's more like 28 degrees. I don't know about this little thermometer. Maybe it's done had too many beers to drink. My phone shows it to be about 28, about four o'clock when I looked at it. Oh yeah, look at it again. It's pretty frosty, so I know it's below 30. So let's see what the little cold frame done. I know y'all can't read this, but I'm gonna read it before I open it. And it's showing 48 degrees. So, even at 48 degrees, I am very happy with this little setup because I wasn't expecting it to do that good really when it got down below 30 degrees I figured I was gonna have to cover it up okay guys so thank y'all for watching this video I believe this here is a little success with my cold frame the temperature on the wall a while ago was showing 22 and I, I didn't believe that was right. The phone was showing it's 29 and I have a pot sitting here and it does have ice in it about a quarter of an inch thick so we know it's below freezing last night. One thing that you could do here and it's what I would do on the nights that I know I'm gonna get so cold. Wherever I set this cold frame, I'm gonna put straw or hay all around it and have it sitting on it so to insulate the bottom also you can throw a tarp over it on these extra cold nights and that would keep your air in like I said the, the lid ain't exactly sealed because of the greenhouse window vent hinge it ain't gonna close it tight enough to make it seal so anyway guys if you like this video Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell so you'll get notifications. It really helps me out. If you would like, leave a comment. Maybe tell me what you like or dislike or suggestions. Maybe suggestions on some videos that you would like to see. Thanks again. God bless and I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you.